He's one of the uh, COVID-19 detector dogs. He actually has, he looks like a, 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 fluffy, a, a fluffy mess, but actually he has 350 million sensory receptors in his nose. Now, us poor humans have got 5 million. This means that Asha could detect a teaspoon of sugar in the uh, volume of water in the uh, in two Olympic-sized swimming pools. So, of course, the science behind the detection, uh, the, the use of dogs' noses to detect disease is, is very rigorous. You're going to have to hold Asher up for us because we want to get a good old look. <laughs> John, I think he's going to sleep, actually, because he's... he's oh, beautiful. <laughs> so the trials have already started. Explain how it's working. So um, what we do at Medical Detection Dogs is we train dogs to find the odour of disease from samples. Now, the COVID-19 samples are actually going to be sock samples, and they're going to be prepared and made completely safe at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So these dogs aren't going to have any risk to them at all. What they do is a bit like becoming a wine taster, actually. You are looking to become a discriminator, to so find the, the grape, if you like, that is the smell of COVID-19. And when they find it, they sit um, in front of the sample and say that they found it. We're watching a tail wagging there as, uh, as one of the dogs is uh, being trained. I mean, presumably, they, they, they find all this quite good fun, do they? They absolutely love it. I mean, the dogs we're using, um, Ash is disappearing now, I'm afraid. The dogs we're using are high drive gun dogs. These are dogs that love to search and find. So this is, you know, it's a rewarding game for them. We have a complete no kennel policy. So all our dogs come into work, um, meet their doggy mates, and then they go home in the evening to put their feet up. So it really is a win-win situation. And the dogs will be screening individuals up to 250 people an hour. Now, this is a, a, a 0.5 of a second sniff, and they will be reliably able to tell whether somebody's carrying the virus and therefore needs to take a medical test to be isolated. And this could be a real game changer in places like airports. I mean, it's a fantastic uh, idea and project. Uh, you say they're very accurate. Uh, I mean, are they 100% accurate? What, what sort of figures are we talking? Well, actually, no medical test is 100% accurate, but the dogs um, have shown in other diseases, for example, uh, Pseudomonas bacteria, which also affects, affects the lungs, uh, cancers and Parkinson's disease, that they can detect up to 85 to 95% reliability. And this is, you know, quite incredible when it, you consider how non-invasive and rapid this screening is.